In today's video, I decided to ask my friends a series of would you rather questions. And in this video, we tried to stick to a more spooky topic in the spirit of Halloween. So with that being said, would you rather be haunted by a demon or abducted by an alien? Alien, because the alien could probably be a good person. Yeah, You're getting abducted, abducting, bro. What bro, if he's what if you want to save me from this terrible world? Right, what if he try to put you on game, bro? Like, what if he try to be like, hey, bro, you realize that all the shit you learned out here ain't true at all? Exactly. Then you got to think, what if, what if what he's saying ain't true? Exactly, bro. You you can't trust him. But there's an entire race of aliens just waiting to save us, but they, they're scared to move because they think we'll rather believe our government than them. So they just have to watch mm. us suffer. Then they some cowards. Bro, okay. if they move in, then they're gonna be seen. The government's gonna flip it and turn them into the bad guys and have everybody join the military and defeat the aliens. Meanwhile, yeah. they're here to save us. Think about this too. Imagine the worst case scenario and they are there to dissect you and probe you, right? They usually put you back when you're done. Either I get a stick in my ass and get some superpowers or <laughs> I get killed by some evil demonic force you why about did you before? word it like that i mean this isn't that more probing is like a light stick going up your booty for some i don't reason. think so i think you didn't want it to go is. up that way no probing <laughs> is quite literally something going in your ass i don't want to believe that you can google it bro i'm not gonna this dude jarvis said oh i did i've no, seen plenty did. of references no 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 nah. no 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 <laughs> let's keep it he, a stack he's like he's man he's he been probed a couple times <laughs> man, let's not lie on the internet now let's, <laughs> let's be real why not jarvis Everybody said of all people in here i should know what probing means no then while i say that shit just the reason you brought this question up i know what your answer is it's not the demon nah it is the demon bro i'd much rather deal with a demon then you're dumb hell nah bro a demon can be exercised bro he gonna exercise with your body he gonna hell use nah, you to do jumping jacks hell nah bro. i was I'm actually get those... thinking of too because of that m, m bar i'm gonna get those i'm gonna <laughs> get those that one couple from the conjuring bro they're gonna come help me out all i'm gonna say is bro you are fucked uh you're i'll be all right i'm just built different <laughs> so you gonna you gonna call a pre to your house to exercise one of your kittens while we're gonna get it because you know demons go through the animals first nah demon ain't gonna go for nothing except for me bro He's and gonna i'm gonna lead him for you i'm gonna lead him to a trap to a, bro you're not fred from scooby doo <laughs> bro he's not gonna you're not gonna take the mask off of him he's gonna be so uh look at him he's crackhead of uber from down the street no bro he's demonic he's like harold from the fifth thousand dimension from hell bro like he's from the 40th ring of hell you still worried about if he can he can leave bro. if he's, he's from hell if he's from hell why is his name harold bro you think harold's don't go to hell bro, bro, just, bro, bro he's just a scheme master at that point bro, bro. harold the heathen <laughs> Man, think you gotta have some like, grandiose name to go to hell. No, bro. Right, Harold the Horrible. <laughs> Shut up. Herod, Harold the Horrid. I'm getting abducted, bro. Y'all some freaks. Y'all just want something on your ass. That's not it. <laughs> Would you rather have police hunting you down for a crime you didn't commit and you can't convince them that you didn't do it, or a serial killer is hunting you down? I ain't gonna lie. Cops can catch you way faster than a serial killer. The cops ain't gonna do something as bad as what the serial killer gonna do to you. Bro, if he gets to, I can pop his ass in the face if I know he coming. He's a serial Serial killer, bro. He knows what he doing. Shit, and I'm a serial fucking mad. Like, nah, I'm a serial <laughs> real, bro. So I could beat your bitch ass. Cause I, yeah, fuck that serial killer, bro. He killed where me, bro. Shit, obviously, cause he's still breathing. Dude, Jarvis said I eat killers like you for breakfast. But a serial killer, like, he'll probably know where you live at. But once you find a hiding spot, he won't be able to like track you by your phone or anything like the police could. So running from the police is like second to running from the IRS. I wouldn't want to be in that range. Are you both picking killer? Yeah. yeah. Damn, y'all gonna be dead as fuck. Nah, he gonna be dead as fuck. You need to worry about your ass getting in the clink. I'm gonna spend my days with Felice Johnson, bro. Would you rather be spanked against your will by a gang of bikers for hours bro. or haunted by a male ghost who whispers sweet nothings in your ear for the rest of your life? The ghost. The ghost. 100%. You'd rather be haunted by a ghost who whispers sweet nothings in your ear for the rest of your life? A male sweet ghost. Nothings. Yeah, sweet nothings, bro. It's gonna be sweet nothing. Imagine you going to sleep in here. Hey, baby girl. Oh my God. I can give you the world. <laughs> and then you just like, bro, oh my God. Stop. Like, all your whole life, bro. This, they Thank you once, a gang of bikers. Oh, you said once. What's for hours, though? How many hours? <laughs> but it's definitely more than one, so <laughs> either way. <laughs> so two hours. We're going two hours. Sweet, nothing's in the ear by a ghost, though. Think about it, bro. He just in your ear like, mm, baby girl, I can give your ass the world. Like, no, I'd be like, no, bro, you can't do that. Can anyone else hear it, or is it just you forever? It's just you. Like, your girl doesn't know what you're going through. You just sit there suffering in silence. I'm going with the biker gang. Y'all ever wonder who was the first? 
first dude to fuck a couch and why did he do it? What? People nah, like, people, no, like, people dead ass. Do I saw this video, this dude who told the story time about how he <laughs> like fucked the couch. He said it was common, like everybody was doing it back in the day. I'm like, who is everybody? What and are I saw you the watching online? And no, it's YouTube and the comments were all like, yeah, definitely, bro. I was like, what the fuck? No, so it popped out and said, I fucked the couch and got caught. I was like, oh! Bro, you did what? In the, in the comments, like, I'm glad he wasn't, I wasn't the only one who did this. I'm like, what? Bro, what? So my question is, who is, the, who is the first man to do this and why? That's how STDs start. Imagine walking in on that, bro. What are you doing to my couch? <laughs> Would you rather be a villain in DC or Marvel? I'd say probably DC because I'd say Marvel. You'd rather be a villain in DC? Actually, no, nah, I'd say DC too. Because hear me out, hear me out, hear me out. Batman ain't got no yeah. superpowers. Bro, that has never stopped you no, before, bro. No, Batman don't fuck you up. Like, he'll make you wish you were dead. See, uh, actually, nah, I was going to say because DC allies. won't kill you. Marvel will straight up kill you. What defines villain? Because if I'm just casually jaywalking in the street and here comes Batman flying in <laughs> the No, you doing some vile shit. Like, you doing some, like, heinous crimes. <laughs> Like you deserve to be beat up like that that's how that's why it's scary because they have a reason to kick your ass like i don't know bro like the hulk bro that rips you apart I, that's fear Can we talk about our villain origin stories though i feel like i just be on my way to work and then like captain america would go flying through my windshield i just become a villain because of that bro gets He's mad over some guy. road rage right no bro. We're not road that's not road <laughs> rage bro gonna turn into a villain over some bro, road rage you're mad you're mad no just, he's mad I about 500 he's mad about 500 dollars to replace his windshield bro i just paid off the car <laughs> now Captain America is in my back bro wants to end the world over five hundred dollars you know what maybe i'm <laughs> maybe i'm right you know what honestly this world you ain't you know, right no nah, because the best villains wrong, think they're right Cap did break so, his car exactly <laughs> and you know what hey. Avengers, they ain't paying for none would you rather put a toothpick under your toenail and kick it against a solid object as hard as you can or let a hornet sting you on the tongue three times hornet on the tongue are you sure but that motherfucker might might clog up your airways i don't know bro the toe toothpick wall it sounds kind of deadly can i let it sting me in a hospital nah you in the comfort of your own home for both of them man of course you didn't say that bro you just making shit up yeah, you just be making it worse nah it, it's on there man, so, you put five, <laughs> <laughs> get the magnifying glass <laughs> i live like uh, seven minutes from a hospital y'all gonna risk your life with a hornet in your mouth now, for what your you toe doing? what are you doing shit bro if you pick the same thing i swear to god i'll slap you you always do <laughs> <laughs> he know he don't want to do that too, bro. He know it. I can hear the old voice. You don't want to do that shit. I'm gonna probably pick a hornet too, cause I live pretty close to the hospital. <laughs> exactly, <man. laughs> I was gonna say, if you live close to the hospital, there's no way you're going through that dumbass pain. Cause like, yeah, they get your throat unclogged, uh, take the swelling down. It might be painful, but it's over. That shit in your toe, that's gonna last for at least six months, bro. You're gonna feel that. I don't think you'll ever walk the same again, honestly. No, bro. The full toothpick, bro. It's like, going no. all the way up there. Like you kick as hard as you can. It's going all the way in. How are you getting yeah. out, bro? You, exactly. You They'll have how to, you cut drive your... to the hospital. And not, uh, no, not, not only that. You, not you, you. Hang on. I'm having a fucking stroke. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck was that? You're not only gonna have a uh, toothpick under your toenail, but you're also just stubbing the shit out of your toe. This is yeah. two for one. Would you rather cuddle a body in the morgue for a day or spend a week in Alcatraz? Week in Alcatraz. Wait a minute. Is this shut down? Like, is it just haunted now? Yeah, Alcatraz is like oh, known as one of the most haunted now. places on the or, yeah, on the planet. I just, I just remembered. Uh, Man, I'm gonna cuddle that dead body, bro. <laughs> I'll cuddle, cuddle a dead baddie. Nah, that's a dude. Oh, bro, bro, side bro. note. <laughs> He always does this. I'm gonna ignore that <laughs> side note. Did you know that? Okay, there was a story time for this. Do. I was a story time with this girl. She was on this like she was talking that. She was talking about how her friend had sex with this guy, right? And he finished on her chest, right? The next morning, whenever she had got done being showered and all that, her chest went, was all red. She went to the hospital, and the doctor said that whoever had whatever, whoever the guy was, and whoever like finished on her chest, the only way that they, she would have got whatever disease she got from him is if he had previously fucked a dead body. Huh? And, and his job was a mortician. Huh? Bro, imagine how down bad you got to be for that. Shit, he was getting. He, I don't know why he did it. See, that's the thing. If some people who are really good with women, they get bored, so they gotta do other. Shit. Shit, bro he might that might have been him bro so all you women out there who like oh he's so good with women like he probably got all these hoes yeah he might got some undead ones too like check him bro like, like for real bro oh, her messing with frankenstein bro trying to make a frankenstein she said she let me get with frankenstein we'll make hankenstein hankenstein you don't want to say that bro nah i'm trying to spankenstein you <laughs> okay, bro, okay i'm gonna be yankenstein the room gonna be stankenstein <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> Frick, Mary, unalive. Ronald McDonald, the Joker, or Pennywise. Bro. The three goofiest fucking people? Exactly. So either way, you're going to have a good time. Uh, what? Good I'm time. Really Bro, see, everything got to be so bro like you can't just have a good giggle with somebody it's a freak <laughs> marion alive yeah and if i'm deciding what to bro, what the fuck if i'm deciding which one i want a freak marion unalive uber is gonna come into that i think off rip had an unalive joker i ain't gonna lie he's probably the most dangerous one there pennywise like a demon though bro he lost to eight-year-old children the joker is not doing that uh, unalive joker do i become the joker <laughs> why is it <laughs> Shoes. If you want to, I guess. <laughs> okay, hula. Derek didn't finish the, the thing. Nah, I answer when we can. You can answer. Oh wait, one. yeah, you say you unalive and Joker. Who's to say I gotta do? All, I gotta say all of them at once. You can say nah. what you're thinking. Nah, you finished. Nah, 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 for real. You can say what you're thinking. Nah, go ahead, bro. Finish. I didn't, nah, didn't want to mess up your train of thought. You know what? My train of thought has already left the station anyway. The floor is yours. Who's clown ass you honking, bro? All right, bro. bro. How long have <laughs> you been waiting to say that? Bro, wrote down the question, so I can't wait to get this one in there. <laughs> hey, wait. If you marry Ronald McDonald, would you get like free McDonald's? Oh, that's a that good question. Logic. Hey, Just get wise and McDonald's clap in the ass for a dollar. Now I'm looking at this McDonald's dude. This McDonald's thing might actually be OP, the McDonald's strategy, right? So you marry Ronald, right? You get free McDonald's cookies for life. Oh me and free McDonald's sweet tea, bro. That shit bust. Give me that McRib. Oh, he gonna get he gonna put some of your McRib. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say. <laughs> Speaking about saucy ribs and hula mouth, what are you gonna <laughs> Bro, I think I'm gonna pick the same options as Derek, you know? Just just uh <laughs> Honestly. get get rid of the Joker, cause you know, ain't nothing funny about what he do, bro. I'm tired of hearing his laugh. Motherfucker, the <laughs> oldest dude here, and he can he can go. It's his time. I was gonna say he pushes 60, bro. And I know his <laughs> breast stink. You seen his teeth? I know he ain't yeah, watched bro. them hoes. Bro, he has no need to. Even <laughs> why well, if you evil, you definitely give up on hygiene. You know what this means? Who is freaking Pennywise? He do he be a demon, bro. He might be a demon <laughs> in the sheets too. I don't bro. know. I was gonna say he ain't even gotta be a he. If he could turn to a spider, he could turn to a woman. All oh, right, well that that concludes. <laughs> Uh, Frick, Mary, Unalive, Halloween edition. That disgusts me. Would you rather eat ass, no pre-wash, or have- uh, No pre-wash. Or, <laughs> or eat- Oh, I already asked you- I actually I already asked you guys this, never mind. I don't think you did. I remember the no pre-wash part. Would you rather eat ass, no pre-wash, or have to eat grass naked on your hands and knees for food every Sunday for the rest of your life? Who the hell never else are you asking these questions to? Oh, God, bro. How do you confuse that? With, what? I mean, if you're eating grass like that, does it have to just be outside? Side shred of the ground, or can you like cut it out and then just you know prepare it's, it a little no, bit? It's, out, it's outside for everybody to display. You have to be like a cow. Yes. That's not even that's not even the part that is like, bro. The main thing to me is how unsanitary it is. Like, can I just prepare it and then eat it in front of everyone? Like, bro's can, worried about awesome? sanitation with grass. Bro, oh, bro. So you gonna put it on a plate on the ground on your hand and knees after you like cook it? I mean, that's still better than eating it straight out with your hands and but knees straight out of the ground every Sunday. For All right, you didn't say that part. You didn't say I that. Did. Part. I did. I said have to eat grass naked. Just chose to ignore it because that wasn't a problem to him. He was more worried about it not being clean. For real, bro. Your ass, you ass naked on Sunday, bro. You no, know, looking at you on Sunday. Not everybody at church, bro. Bro, exactly. You up early, bro. Right after service, you in the grass in the fields, oh naked. Wait, what was the other option again? He ass, no pre watch. Oh my god. <laughs> I didn't think it was worse than that one. Man, it doesn't mean it's nasty. You just really gotta trust this girl, bro, because you don't know if you put if you put your face in there and it's not, you get peak eyes. Mm -hmm. You get pink mouth, nah, pink bro. tongue. Post wash, yeah. that's still nasty, bro. Like, nah. Yeah, I wouldn't do it post wash. That's how I know my answer, bro. Go ahead and answer. Please. Fucking call me old Bessie, bro. I'm I'm eating the grass. <laughs> old Bessie. <laughs> old Bessie. That's crazy specific. <laughs> Who's that? I don't fucking know, bro. It's the first <laughs> cow the name I heard. <laughs> Why did you know that all time? <laughs> Ew. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, you got it. Call Hula Bessie, bro. Call me Otis, bro. Would you rather work the night shift alone as a security guard at a cemetery or be a guard at a highly dangerous max security prison? Highly dangerous max security prison. Why? I mean, you didn't. Uh, it's not like I'm the only guard there, right? I can just sit back and let everybody else do all the work. Highly dangerous. They say I had to keep the job. I could just get fired. The same thing goes for the security guard at cemetery, though. At least I won't get followed home by demons. Who's to say yeah, there's demons there? Die evil, bro. Like, yeah, right. What you, like, okay, <laughs> bro, ghost, what you poltergeist. Guys, phantom, what if, what if, what if you want. see a ghost? He's like, bro, I'm a relatively good guy. I was just chilling. I don't care. You're dead. Like, go away. What? Bro, bro you going to disrespect the dead? Now it's you want him to kill you. You say, you know, it's I was cool until you did that, bro. Actually, give me your dead. flesh. Like, bro, <laughs> not, now it's your fault. This shit, I'm tired of being dead now. I'm choosing the cemetery, bro. Fuck the max security prison, bro. bro I'm what's good the worst on that could happen? You die? Yes. Okay, but if you work at a cemetery, you could die in an even spookier way. How the fuck a ghost going to kill me, bro? It's just a ghost. 
ain't no demon. It's a ghost. You know what a ghost can do, bro. You, you know what a ghost bro, can do. Bro, say that. Bro, I know why you just said that, bro. Think about all the famous ghosts that just be killing people, bro. Casper. Casper is literally known as the like, friendly what? ghost. He's the bro. nicest no. ghost around. Nah, he nice with his hands. He'll beat your ass, bro. <laughs> they don't call him. They call him the nicest ghost, not the nicest ghost, bro. Like, I think the exact nice. term is the friendly ghost. Bro. Yeah, okay. he's a friendly ghost. Yeah, he real friendly with your face with his fist. Like it's a, like it's it's all alliteration, bro. Y'all just missing the punchline. Nah, bro. Me and Casper go way back, bro. Yeah, yeah he gonna go way gonna back. Go way back into your forehead, right? Bro. right? Yeah, bro. There, get it, bro. Shit. Yeah, I get it now. And if we okay. want to go less famous but kind of dangerous, we could talk about the Danny Phantoms. But he he mean if you a ghost. What about like, the ghost that he be fighting, bro? It could be one of them. You ever seen Pirates of the Caribbean? You know the pirate ghost? Oh, yeah. You think they just gonna be chilling at the the cemetery? They ain't got nothing better to do, bro. If it's a Mexican. What else are they supposed to do? Where else are they supposed to be at? Where they're about yeah. to go torment like, the person who got them there. Why do you though. assume someone killed them? I'm protecting what? their I'm protecting their graves, bro. They gonna they gonna respect me. Is this just a normal cemetery or is this like some haunted cemetery? It's just a normal cemetery. Who's to say a normal cemetery isn't haunted? Exactly. Yeah, why, why can't it just be a normal prison then? If it has to, why gotta yeah, be exactly. max security? Nah, it's max security so that way you're more swayed to pick the cemetery. And now y'all see what Hula does. He makes these <laughs> right? questions. He sets it up to where you like what? There's one option, like bro. Would you rather be trapped in a room with Pennywise or be trapped in a game designed by Saw? Pennywise, bro. He lost to kids, bro. <laughs> he literally took an L to children, bro. The only way he fucks with you is if you're scared of him. That Jigsaw don't care if you scared. He just trying to kill your dumb ass. And if you trapped in there with Jigsaw, you probably did something to deserve it. So I don't even want to be in that situation. Nah. So you telling me if you saw Pennywise, you would not be scared of him? Now that I know who he is, like I know that he just wants me to be scared. So no, I'm not gonna be scared of him. He's just a bitch ass in the clown suit you're not scared you can literally <laughs> beat him with a pipe if you're an eight-year-old like how, how is the eight-year-old strong enough to beat you to death couldn't beat me to death shit, he must be weaker than me and if he weaker than me shit what's fear gonna do all right so jarvis is gonna die to a clown Derek, who's to say that the game has to be designed to kill you maybe saw decided to make a kids game one day when the fuck does he ever want to do that i mean maybe after bro are you really fighting for this lost to kids bro, Boy, bro. What what's the it... question bro, they, they were super kids bro we don't know they them. weren't super kids they were barely Really smart you don't know that i watched it i could have thought of something better than that movies aren't real bro this is real <laughs> that is he <laughs> i know for a fact you're not picking jigsaw i know both of you motherfuckers aren't you said why. trapped in a room with pennywise yeah you're trapped in a room with him oh for sure i'm beating his ass because if you if you trapped in a room like bro i'm not gonna <laughs> be scared of him bro he can turn into a big ass freak ass spider actually damn there you might be fucked yeah he exactly but he Look, only bro. did that when he, he only did that when they were scared of him though like if you don't feed him that fear he can't get that big all i'm saying bro is y'all crazy as hell because i'm picking pennywise too when's a good time to tell my baby mama i'm not gonna be in my son's life what Probably it's a good time to tell my baby mom I'm not gonna be in my son's life. Like, I'm going to milk. I'm sorry, I'm going to the store. You're going no to milk. milk? Yeah, I'm going to milk. You know what milk stands for? Man, I left my kid. <laughs> So what's a good time to tell them? Like how I break the news? Do I make spaghetti or like make spaghetti? Yeah, you know. Yeah, that'll right soften the, the blow. You can't be mad with a with a face full of spaghetti. She's gonna be like, mmm, yum yum yum. Yeah, honey. So I'm not coming back. Hmm, good, but this spaghetti is. How is the spaghetti coming back if you're not even gonna be there to make it? Because it'll be in her heart forever and in the fridge when she wants something for later. What kind of supernatural ass shit? What's supernatural about spaghetti. I mean, yours lasts forever in the fridge and lives all with her. Said forever in her, in her heart. heart. Forever in her heart. In the fridge, it'll probably last for like one or two, three. Maybe Who fuck with spaghetti days? that much to live on with it for forever, bro? I said in her heart, bro. Like you're not listening to me, you just hearing me. So it's in her heart forever. So she got worms at that point, bro. She she got some kind of disease. <laughs> worms, bro. That's what you came up with. Worms. She got spaghetti noodles in her heart, bro. She they, she ain't living through that. Man, you just want any reason to doubt me, bro. All I'm saying. I is mean, cause you you're leaving know. the kid, bro. But I'm trying to be responsible and tell her that I'm doing it. Bro. <laughs> be responsible, bro. Y'all so y'all so childish. Bro. I'm, I'm trying, trying to be responsible. Responsible and leave my responsibilities. It's like putting in a two weeks notice. Would you rather be trapped in a pit of spiders or snakes? Yeah, you're dying regardless. Actually, if you don't move with snakes, they probably ask. That's not true. Some snakes just are hungry. Well, yeah, if they're not hungry and you're relaxed, they'll relax too. Same thing with the spiders, though. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah, they will. Bro. <laughs> Have you not they'll seen bite, people? They'll hold... bite you out of fear. Have you not seen people hold the the?
the black widows and shit, bro. Like they let them just crawl over their hand. They don't care. Most bro. of the time they're defanged and they're like pets. Nah, bro. Nah, nah. You you gotta see that one dude who lets stuff sting him all the time, bro. Oh, you talking about wilderness survival dude on YouTube? Yeah, he did it. Yeah, but even then they they still are gonna bite you, bite you eventually. That, that's why they get defanged because eventually they will bite you, even if it's just playfully. Just playfully bites you. Hey, your dogs do it. Is your dog a spider though? Exactly. That's what I'm saying. That spider is gonna fuck you up. They know exactly about it. What the hell? What kind of comparison is that? We're dying regardless. I'll just go snake pit. Get it over with quicker. Yeah, I'm gonna go snake pit too because I just hate spiders still. I wouldn't want to feel that crawling on me, bro, in the spider pit. Nah, I know y'all feel it right now. Bro, like I really have been avoiding thinking about it, bro. Just... You're just getting a little bit itchy thinking about it, bro. Oh, bro. Like you're wearing a woolly shirt. What if I wore a hazmat suit into the spider pit so they couldn't like bite me? I think I'll do that. He didn't say what we had to wear, so we got him and he's stuck in the snake pit. He's like, guys, no we're all in the snake pit, right? <laughs> And me and Derek over there giggling. Just listening to Hula scream in the snake pit. All right, I'm back. You left. He missed the whole part. You'll see it in the video. Just know that uh, we already we already got our way out of this question, and now you're going to die in a snake pit alone. What? Man, why you got to say it like that? <laughs> like, just, all just lonely and depressing? Just know we both chose spider pit, and we're Y'all just going to leave me there? Y'all not gonna even going to feel bad you, because I'm not you, with y'all anymore? Man, fuck y'all. You weren't here to join us. Yeah, you, you don't know what we're... You don't know our plan. And yeah, so like, you're just going to leave me there? You Man, you some real fucking homies. I see how it is. Right, you get the, you get this one option. Go ahead, join us in the spider pit. But how are you gonna survive? I'm gonna I'm look and see what the hell you guys are doing. Follow your <laughs> nah, lead. You can't, nah, nah, you can't nah, nah. See what we're doing. By the time we get there, we all have to be ready, right? And we jump in instantly. So you're you're not gonna have time to prepare when we're there. Yeah. You're so not gonna you know. Gonna Did you all say something about bug spray? Bug spray? <laughs> That's your solution. That, that silly uh, solution. It's <laughs> right? a fucking the you guys, fucking raid on oh you, bro. God. I hope this one can can save my life. Yeah, but I'm gonna just follow you guys' lead. Bro, you're gonna. Nah, die. he gonna fuck there. Yeah, follow our lead, bro. Yeah, go ahead, bad, go ahead. Bro, they start biting me. Y'all ain't gonna help me. They start biting me. I'm gonna just throw them all There's on nothing you, bro. We can do to help you. Bro, bro it died. That one. And the thing, you throw them on us, it's not gonna hurt. Y'all showing up in a hazmat suit. Bro, you gonna see what we doing. It was a hazmat suit because y'all didn't make fun of that answer. Because that's a good answer. <laughs> yeah, it's a pretty smart answer. Is that what you're gonna do? Sure. Whatever, man. Fuck it. I'm done.